This is a supplementary video that explains how I made the rolling cube RBD simulation, which acts as a prop for a different video explaining camera tracking. Now the purpose of that other video is camera tracking, so I didn't want to deviate off topic too far from the the camera tracking topic. Thus I created this video as a supplementary video to explain the super simple rolling cube RBD simulation. So let's go into the rolling cube. When this, now we start off with a box, so it's just a cube, and then I move it onto the ground plane. So it, it's matching the grid floor. Then I throw down an RBD configure node. Now this just gives it physical properties. This just gives our box physical properties. So it has density and um, some a bit of bounce. So I feed it directly into the RBD bullet solver right away. Now in here, the constraints, the breaking constraints, you can see in the breaking constraints, I have nothing down here. So I've removed the breaking constraints. That's because this cube is not even fractured it's one single piece so there's no constraints um, I don't have an RBD material fracture it's a solid object that's just rolling over now if you want to recreate the destruction clip seen at the beginning of this video just throw down an RBD material fracture node right here it'll go right after the RBD configure node as for the camera tracking stuff you'll have to see the next video for that now, I use the force of the RBD simulation to propel it forward. So if we come over here to the RBD bullet solver and double click it, they'll bring us into the, the forces network. These forces will push the cube forward. This is the initial boost. So this is the boost that um, pushes it forward, forward for the first 20 frames. Here, 20 frames. So this, that's the the force here that's pushing it there. That's probably why it's sliding as well. And then I have another force here that continuously drives the cube forward throughout the entire simulation. And that's how I get this cube rolling. Now, as you can see, I have to keep panning the 3D viewport in order to get this to view the cube. And when it restarts again, it goes back to the beginning. So I have to keep panning and tracking the object. So let's go back all the way back up. Oh, and I also put a color onto, I threw down an RBD IO just to cache it. So I'll have faster playback. And then I threw down a color just so I can see the cube a little better. This video was meant to be a supplementary video explaining how I created the rolling cube in the scene, which is used to demonstrate a simple technique of camera tracking. So I needed a simple animation for the camera to track, but I wanted the animation to be more dynamic. And what I mean by that is that the animation is not driven by keyframes. The animation is driven by an RBD simulation. So in the next video, I'll be covering a simple technique I used for camera tracking simulation scenes by parenting the camera transformation to the RBD object, which in this case is the rolling cube.